terrible static electricity. Hi, my name is Jill and usually on Fridays I've been doing kind of recap video and not, so this is not an official uh, road culture rules or one of the other types of videos I do, but it's Thursday because I'm gonna be busy for the next three days and so we won't be doing a video. So I wanted to just uh, catch you up on a few things. I just wanna keep up, keep up. But the first thing I want to throw out there is I'm going to be going to a concealed carry class uh, coming up. And so I thought it would be really uh, interesting to actually ask some of those questions as a mobile lifestyle person. How, what are the rules around carrying a gun? Okay, go ahead. When you're ready. <laughs> okay. I actually don't know. I know that uh, each state has its own rules and regulations. So what I wanted to say is if you have any questions specific to uh, carrying a gun on yourself or your vehicle that you can think of that would be related to this type of lifestyle of a nomad or a traveler, go ahead and put them in the comments below or email me. I'll be checking my emails through Friday morning. So if you get it into me by then, I'll be able to ask the instructor if there's time. It's a pretty full class. New Mexico apparently is very comprehensive. So I just wanted to throw that out there. If you've got good questions that I can ask, this will be a perfect opportunity because the instructor is supposed to be excellent. If I can catch him on video, I will try and do that too. <laughs> so I really don't talk about uh, self-defense or safety or security in the little trailer. And I haven't done that on purpose because in my belief system, it's just better to not tell people what's going on in here other than I have a dog. So I have my own system. Uh, again, it's not something I've shared, but it is something that we all need to think about. So that's one of the reasons why I wanted to toss that out to you today to really uh, let me know if you've got good questions. And then we'll probably talk about that subject on a separate video. This one is just a catch up video. So that's business number one. Business number two my keyboard is broken and somehow I haven't figured out how to fix it. So I have a Dasky keyboard. Thank you, Jake. And uh, if anybody has any understanding of why the shift keys don't work on it anymore, that would be greatly appreciated. So until I can get that sorted, I can't shift key. So all my, I've figured out my punctuation is like my hands. I use it to accentuate whatever I'm talking about or typing about. So now I'm back to no punctuation that's uppercase and very, very, barely capital letters. So bear with me while I get that sorted out. The third thing I want to talk about is uh, regarding some of the comments and emails I've gotten. And a few of you have asked if I'm depressed and the answer is no. Uh, the technical term is called projection in which uh, if you're having some thoughts and feelings, oftentimes we project that onto other people. I am having residual grief, right? I'm still in the grieving process because Lilith is gone, but I am not depressed nor am I lonely because I'm isolated. So I am really happy with where my life is. It's not perfect as I'm sure yours is not either. <laughs> But I don't have any issues with my uh, lifestyle, my choices, my amount of time I spend with other people. And uh, my depression and my anxiety is pretty minimal. I would put it in the normal category. So I appreciate you guys asking, but I am okay. Which brings me to the fourth thing I wanted to cover. And somebody made a comment about why I don't do a therapy practice. And I thought it would be a really good thing to address here because my last couple of videos have gotten a little bit uh, therapy oriented and so I appreciate you know the thoughts you guys have shared with me, but there is a reason why I am not a therapist anymore. I don't like it. And uh, I talked a little bit about this in the video that there's the healing process and then there's who you wanna be after the healing process. And I really don't wanna be in the healing process anymore. I wanna be in the future. I wanna be in what we can build and create as a whole person. And uh, for anybody who's ever been in a, mentally or emotionally 
challenging field, I would say emotional fatigue is actually worse than physical fatigue. There's a lot of personal satisfaction when you physically do a job, when you build something and you can see the results of it. But working with people on a mental and emotional basis is exhausting. And it's really unsatisfying because most of the time you don't see the progress that people make. So you're always kind of working in the hopes of maybe someday there will be some benefit down the road. But there's not that kind of satisfaction. It's very fatiguing. You're taking in people's energy. If you're doing it well, you're, you know, you're taking in people's energy. Uh, any kind of health care is, is really exhausting. And I'm done. I, you know, it was high burnout. I was having my own uh, medical problems around that. So, so I appreciate that you feel like there's some value and I might have some skill there. I would hope so. I did it long enough, but it's exhausting. Uh, it's taken me several years to get my own health back and I'm never going back to it. So while I appreciate the sentiment, no thank you. <laughs> Which brings me to the last thing I want to talk about. And in that same comment was this idea of I'm apologizing for talking about heavy stuff and I'm pitching for books because I'm financially strapped. And you know, I really appreciate that comment because it, it's something that I've struggled with and this is a thingy about me is that you're right, I do apologize, I do backtrack because uh, this kind of stuff isn't what most people really want to talk about and most people are asking for money regards to uh, supporting them in this process and I've talked about this before but it's time for a recap is uh, I you're absolutely right I should not be apologizing for my subject matter uh, I should not be apologizing for pitching a book and I shouldn't feel sorry uh, and I'm not doing it because I'm financially strapped in the sense please help me <laughs> <laughs> that isn't what this is all about. Uh, the videos are a marketing tool essentially for the book in order to create awareness. And you know, the bottom line is, is you're right, I should be pitching it every single video because it's the book is something every single person 50 or over-ish should be looking at because it is the kind of information that's not fun, it's not exciting, but it's necessary. It's just we need to know about our aging process and we need to be prepared for our aging process. So the workbook, you know, my guide, to, Jill's guide to getting uh, prepared for your over 50 life, that's full of information that isn't something you've probably thought about because I can tell you your doctor and your financial planner are not going to cover this information. It's not going to come up until after you've had the problem. So I'm not pitching the book because I'm financially strapped. I'm selling the book because it's over 20 years of wisdom that I've collected as a social worker for a very affordable price for what you're getting. You could never have a person come in and do this kind of assessment with you. Uh, you can print it out you can do it with every single family member. You can do it, give it to your kids for when you get older. It's an invaluable tool of your aging process. So you're absolutely right. I should not be pitching it as something that please support me because I am financially strapped. This is a business and the book is good business for you as you plan for your aging process. And the second piece is you're absolutely right. Nobody should be apologizing for talking about real stuff. So I want to say thank you. You've helped me kind of make that shift. That's one of the things I really like about the comments is it provides uh, really good feedback for me because, like I said, this is an interesting process and people feel much safer making those kind of comments in a more anonymous format than they do to your face. So again, I just want to say thank you. Uh, this is Thursday. We will be on hold until Monday-ish in which we will return with who knows what the topic of the video <laughs> will be. But at that time, we will say hello again. Until then, I'm going to say I hope you will rise with the sun in your eyes, love in your heart, feet firmly on the ground as together we walk on Survival Road one step at a time. Live free and die wild, my friend. And if you like this kind of stuff, I hope you will subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>